Hi guys, so welcome to episode 4. So we're going to look at the help text on the on the screen which appears usually at the bottom, doesn't have to, we can move that around. So there's help text on the main menu and in the system views. So it's this uh, stuff that's appearing down the bottom of the screen on, on the theme files that I provided um, in episode 1. So we're going to change that and that's done in the main theme the main XML file, the one we've been playing with uh, earlier. So let's edit that. So we, we'll open that up. Just want to quickly show you in a theme in UI settings down the bottom, there is on screen help. You can turn it on and off. So if you turn it off, obviously that text will disappear. But we're going to leave it on, obviously, because we're going to, to play with it. So in the um, in the theme files that I provided, we've already covered this first section, um, and what we're about to discuss here pretty much takes care of 99% of the main menu. Then we can move into the system views. So the on-screen help, I've got it broken into two sections. We've got this the system view, which is the main menu, and the other views, detail, video, and basic. I've got them grouped into one. And you can so all the help text uh, information here uh, is editing it for all three views at once and system has its own you can group all four together you could have system comma detail comma video comma basic or vice versa you could split them all out you could have a system you could have a detail then you have a, a video and then a basic and you could have different fonts and sizes and positions and everything for all of those but yeah depending on your theme design um, so let's look at the system one the font path we've already discussed uh, fonts and the paths in previous episodes the font size we've already discussed that as well position we've already discussed how position works and we've also got here we've got two colors we've got text color and icon color so let's have a look at the theme in the example here the icons which is the green here is this color yours might be different because I think I've already been fiddling with this one your colors may be like a, a pinky color um, and then the text color this color here is obviously the text so I'm going to provide the link again but on the HTML color codes website you can get some colors I don't know let's let's go with red we might change the icons to red just so we can see a contrast we'll change the text uh, text color to yellow let's save that update okay let's change the theme reload the view so we can see the changes and there we go we've got red icons and yellow text okay pretty easy position I guess just so you can see it let's move horizontally over and let's vertically let's raise it right up near the top and I might even make the font smaller just so you can see we will leave the font font style the same so now we should see it smaller further over from the left and higher on the screen that's exactly what we got okay just get back 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 to, to how it is just before I save that I just want to show you so you can see where the help text is on the main menu but in the system view it's still down the bottom so it's down the bottom it's yellow it's got a, a different font style yours files probably slightly different as I said I've been fiddling with this I've got open sans on this one so let's change the system view font back let's make the font style smaller oh, let's, let's just pick a, a light blue Sorry if I'm going too fast. 
<laughs> um, so I've changed the text color and the icon color of the detailed video and basic views. I'm going to save that. Let's go back to the theme. Oop, something wants to update. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the main menu back to how it was. And then the view, it's that uh, light blue, which is not a not an awesome color. If I change the view to detailed, it's the same. Okay, I think that's all we need to discuss today to do with, with help. I think you're starting to get the idea. There's things we've gradually been learning like font paths and size and positions and colors are all starting to make it a little bit easier so i think we'll um, call it a day in the next episode i think we're going to look at the individual xml files in each folder of all the systems and collections there's just a couple of things i need to explain there that should be a short video as well okay guys see you in the next one